As we all know, digitalization and renewable energy sources has brought us tremendous possibilities to revolutionize the way we produce, transport, distribute, and consume electricity. However, they also bring tremendous challenges to maintain adequate resiliency and cyber physical security of electrical power networks. So uh, new concepts, models, methods, and tools are required to facilitate their operational design and testing, verification, and validation of their performance. In order to address these challenges, the Analysis Laboratory for Synchrophaser and Electrical Energy Technology, also known as ALSET Lab, was established in 2018. As I mentioned before, uh, the Alsa Lab is a simulator-based laboratory that can host real-time hardware in the loop experiments on time-critical applications for um, cyber-physical power networks. Um, this paper elaborates the design and implementation of the precise timing and communications um, that are used in the Alsa Lab. This figure shows uh, the precise time layer that was designed and implemented in the outset lab. Uh, the layer is all about supply and distribution of uh, the precise timing in the outset lab. Through this layer, all equipment in the lab has access to precise time with maximum inaccuracy of less than one microsecond. As the figure shows, the layer is partitioned in horizontal dimension into two domains of simulator and actual hardware. In the vertical dimension, it spans the hierarchical levels of power system management partitioned into six zones. Uh, the layer displays uh, first all equipment engaged in the realization of this layer of the architecture with their names and their labels. Second, information about the type and the length of the coax cables and the signals they carry. And third, information about the type of connectors that connect the coax cables to the equipment. In terms of implementation, um, it is quite straightforward. However, it's worth noting um, a couple of things. First, it is important to use appropriate type of coax cable ideally LMR400 for transmission of GNSS signals. Other types of coax cables such as RG58 are, are not suitable because their attenuation is severe at the frequency of the GNSS signals. Um, of course, RG58 is still good enough for transmitting signals uh, with lower frequencies such as Eric B. And second, open RD simulators are synchronized through Oregon Systems PCI network cards. If the cards are fed with Eric B signals from the network clock, it is important that the time reference in the network clock is set to UTC and not local because the cards, as they are configured, cannot distinguish the offset between the local time and the UTC time. This figure shows the communication layer that was um, designed and implemented in the outset lab. The communication layer is all about the local area network of the lab. Um, the network is utilized by the equipment to exchange different types of data. Um, since most data types are time sensitive, meaning that they should be um, exchanged with minimal latency, VLANs or virtual LANs and quality of service rules have been implemented to avoid any data congestion. The paper includes a lot of details on how to design VLANs and the quality of service rules, um, and I recommend you to review the paper for more details on this. In terms of implementation, the communication layer is often the most challenging one because not all equipment support the features that are needed to implement VLANs and quality of service rules. Again, I recommend you to look into the paper to learn more details about the implementation of the communication layer. So in sum, the paper presents the design and implementation process of a simulator-based facility that can host real-time hardware and deliver experiments for time-critical applications. What is important about this paper is that it can um, act as a guide for other researchers who would like to build similar facilities, in particular when considering precise timing and communication needs.